welcome to Fight Night Street Fighter Edition, featuring some of the top players from around the world. With $25,000 in prize money on the line, who will go home the Street Fighter Champion? This is Fight Night. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Fight Night here at ESGN TV. Last time we saw Al Yoon take out Cian in a 7-4 upset and put Europe back on the map. His next opponent is Tokido. As we get ready for our next match, let's take a look at some of the highlights. Cian versus Al Yoon. Oh, Nicely wow, okay. done. Wow. Al Yoon takes game one. No, no, it's not gonna work. Is this gonna be the end of the line for the is world it, yeah, champion? Is this gonna be it? Al Yoon takes it and, wow. Luffy, and Luffy takes my that money, man. What's up, guys? We're here at day four of Fight Night Street Fighter Edition. I'm Tasteless, and with me is my homie Gutex. How you doing, dude? Doing good, Tasteless. We've seen some great matches so far here on Fight Night, and tonight we have another great match for you guys. It's going to be Alion, who won last time, going up against Tokido. And if you remember, Tasteless, when he spun the wheel, this dude was so confident against Tokido. You know, lots of other players have used their lifelines. They've either chose to spin, to spin again, or they've chosen to remove somebody from the wheel. When Tokido came out, he was like, yeah, that's fine. I'll yeah, play. Yeah, Alien was no totally deal. fine with it. Cool as a cucumber, said, all right, let's do this. And, I, you know, when I was watching Alien against uh, Shen, I was so sure before the match had started that Shen was going to dominate and keep on dominating, but Alien stopped him instantly. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm really asking myself, you know, uh, how far is Alien going to go? Let's go ahead and take a look at these two players and see what they have to say about this upcoming match. Uh, so I'm Alien Kamara. I'm uh, from France and I'm uh, playing for a team Barcelona Esports. I used to play competitively uh, basketball. There are many similar points uh, between uh, basic competition is the, um, the same mentality is, is running through any type of competition. Even when I win, I'm trying to, to do better. So uh, I'm like a perfectionist. I know where my skills are and I know also what can be improved. So I'm always trying to, to optimize. Uh, my name is Hajime Taniguchi. Um, my nickname is Tokido from Japan. I like fighting games, so um, I practice every day. It's very important to keep my skill, keep my power. So. Yes, every day's practice is important. Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition is a 1v1 cult fighting game developed by Capcom and Dimps. Choosing one of 39 characters, players fight to the finish until their health bars are completely drained. There are two possible ways to attack in Street Fighter, punches and kicks. Using these moves with your joystick at the same time activates abilities or combos that can deal significant damage. At the highest level of competitive play, Street Fighter's extremely quick pace not only requires top players to be fast with their hands, but also requires them to take out opponents with mind games. Those who outmaneuver and outthink their opponents will be the champion. So here's the rules for Fight Night Street Fighter. Eight world-class players are chosen at random by the heartless ESGN TV wheel. They are going to battle each other over seven brutal matches until we have the last man standing. But the stakes are high. Players can win from 500 right up to $25,000. I think it's time, Gutex. Let's get started, Faceless. I'm ready, are you guys ready? All right, go ahead and shake and let the game begin. And it looks like it's going to be uh, an Akuma versus Kami matchup. That's right. This can be a difficult match for Akuma because Kami does so much damage and has so, so such high stun potential, and Akuma has low life to begin with. Akuma only has 900 uh, health points, and most of the characters have 1,000. Now, if I understand right, Akuma has a high damage output, though, mm -hmm. right? So yes. if he can be hit, it, it'll really hurt. But if he manages to get a few string combos off on you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. That's right. So we'll see uh, how Alien plays this. You know, he was very confident in his pick against Tokido. But Tokido, if you guys remember, uh, was the second place finisher at EVO this year, losing to Sien in the grand final. He's, he's really good at connecting that Ultra Man. Whenever I watch Tokido, he's so good at the combos. Akuma's a really combo heavy character. It's a lot about just mechanics and stuff. 
Uh, and it, this is a guy who you really can't be better than him when it comes to someone like Akuma. So we already have some engagements coming in over here. Akuma now backing up, dropping a fireball, but now pushing Kami forward yet again here. And one of the things that Akuma has to watch out for is that he doesn't throw a fireball from a range at which Kami can see it and ultra through it. Yeah, that's very true because yeah, it's it, uh, you get a lesser Street Fighter player, and they're going to be really tempted to fireball, fi fireball, fireball, fireball mm -hmm. as much as they can. But yeah, someone like Cami can absolutely punish that. Yeah, so you'll see that Tokido is once Cami gets uh, her ultra, you'll see him try to throw a lot fewer fireballs and air fireballs. Yeah, that's very true. And that's one of the main tools that Akuma has in this match is that he can teleport his way out of the corner. We can buy him, um, you know, we can, buy, we can get him out of the corner safely. Now we see uh, Kami starting to push Akuma back here. And again, Akuma takes damage uh, pretty heavily here. So uh, there's not a lot of room for air here. Teleporting now over to the right. And just continue to try to drop fireballs to zone Kami out. Kami has a lot of um, slides that can come in. Maybe the Princess of the Fireball is going to occasionally punish that. Now with that nice combo, that classic Akuma combo coming in there, ending that with an uppercut. Yeah. Once Akuma, Akuma's main game plan is going to be going for a sweep or oh, a throw. Okay, even a blocked fireball at this point would end this. Got to be careful. Yeah, because if he throws a fireball from an unsafe range, there we go. Oh, See, he went for it. Nice he tried to back. ultra through it, but he messed up. And, and now that's going to give us one win right now here. Uh, for Tokido going into this, probably feeling pretty confident. You know, it's, a, it's such a totally different matchup. Um, <laughs> than the previous one we had here with Cammy. <laughs> yeah. So this can be very difficult uh, because. Okay, there we go. So basically, Akuma, what he wants to go for, especially Tokido, is the hard knockdowns, which you get from a sweep or a throw. And the reason for that is because with a hard knockdown, you can't do a quick getup, which means that he is able to continue his offense and put Kami in situations that are either hard, that are very hard to see and very hard to block. Yeah, that's very true. So if he gets a few openings, then she'll be dizzy or, or the round will be over. Now Kami gonna try to close in here. Nice combo, spinning in, knocking Akuma back yet again. You know, I, I really, um, when you look at the offense coming out of here in Kami, that's the real strong point. He's just really able to get in there, punish him, and his opponent's always on his back foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cammy's main strength is that once she gets her offense started, she can continue. Okay, good, good uppercut right there by, by Tokido. See, wow, three medium punches in the combo right there. That's so much damage, so much stun. But Tokido is such a strong player. He actually yeah, baited out Tokido with that uppercut. Now coming in, closing down. Uh, he cancels out of that, so he can't be punished for that uppercut. Oh, Wrath wow. of the Raging Demon here misses. Whoa, I thought that was going to hit for sure. So. The thing with the Raging Demon is that you can actually cancel out of any of his normals. So it looked like she, because he canceled the sweep into Raging Demon that she was just going to run straight into it because she was already dashing. But somehow it didn't work out for Torpedo, so Alien ties it up one game apiece. So obviously Alpha 3 players knew me, but to most people when they played me first, they actually didn't know if I just started Street Fighter 4, so uh, they were like, oh, you're, you're pretty good, you should enter more, um, tournaments. I played 20 years for fighting game, casual, but uh, for professional, um, it's three years. Are you ready? Yeah, Alien looking great here. So yeah, it is one and one here. Takedo sticking with that uh, kind of in-air play from Akuma to drop that middle kick if he's uh, in neutral or to try to get a fireball as he's backing away. Whoa, and Kami is just not being stopped right now. He actually tries to teleport uh, back. Now Akuma trying to get uh, into the offense here. Nice uh, and getting that throw to interrupt for that. Yeah, there's that hard knockdown that I was, that I was talking about. Oh. Once Akuma gets the hard knockdown, basically you have to make the decision as the person who's, just, uh, who's getting up, who's on defense, whether or not he's going to try to attack from the front or the back. If you think that he's going to cross you up with a hurricane kick, um, you know, it kind of depends on the life lead, the positioning, uh, how much meter everybody has as to which direction you might think he's going to go. We've seen him do a couple times near edge forward um, with Akuma and do that uh, crouching kick there, a sweep, try to take him out when he's not doing the fireballs coming raining down from above. Kami now continuing to come in here, uh, denied throw. 
and Cammy has all that meter that she can oh. use for those EX dive kicks. Oh and my god, are you kidding one. me? I, I don't know if he meant to do the dive. Oh, oh yeah, there's nothing matter. you can do. I mean, your life is solo. Even if you block that, you end up doing dying. And so now uh, we're going to have to have Cammy win the next two here if we're going to make this into a 2 1 there for Cammy. Cammy's working, Allian's working on perfect. Oh, not anymore. Uh, Tokido waits a second. We'll see if he'll. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, Akuma's right now, Akuma's keep away has been so good. And then occasionally he mixes it up by running in there, putting the pressure on. <laughs> yeah, but he's got to be careful because, you know, he is backing himself into the corner. Well, now they've switched places. Whoa. Oh, no. Actually, <laughs> straight into yeah, it. Yeah, going back it's into that uh, combo. Yeah. Akuma, very low on health. The teleport uh, let's see is... if you get Wrath of the Raging Demon pulled off somehow here. The teleport is really good, but you have to be careful because if you get too predictable... Oh, no! He's going to straight oh, combo wow. this. Can nice. he close this out? And he does! It was like, I swear, like nice. less than 1% health there on Kami. Yeah. Or wow. Akuma. So Tokido, yeah, man. Akuma Tokido's could... closed it out. Basically the same way, yeah. two games in a row, where Alun has his back to the wall and Tokido just finds an opening and has enough meter to convert. There we go, that's there the cross we go. that yeah. I was talking about. Now he'll go, you know, now that he put the cross up into your head, then he doesn't cross up. The second time, he'll just stay on the same side. Yeah, so, so and, a, you know, Alun right now is probably still thinking about that last round that he almost had, but you know, when, you, when those things happen, you have to shake it oh. off as a player. I thought that was actually going to chip him out there, that uppercut. It's Let's really see if he can close. do it again. Oh, wait. Nah, he might be able to get okay. out of this. Oh, oh no, no, no. I it think actually he backdashed him. by accident. It was hard to tell right there. Okay. But Everybody very low here. Oh, yes. nicely done, yeah. Cammy was Allian. low enough on HP. If she had stubbed her toe, she would have died there. There was <laughs> Accidentally kicked something. That's right, yeah. She could have bumped her knee on a coffee table and died. Her HP was that low. <laughs> <laughs> So we got Akuma continuing to keep away here. Um, just backing up and then, now correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like a lot of times when Cammy's in that neutral jump as she's landing, that's when he seems to want to try to come in there and yeah, try so, to sweep at the feet. Yeah, so the thing about the neutral jump is that she's doing it when she has meter because she can EX dive kick at the last possible moment. Oh, nice catch there um, with Akuma. Continue to put Cammy in kind of an awkward position here. Now Akuma's Oh. Uh, very low on HP, but from the games we've seen so far from Takedo, that might yeah, not really matter, matter as much. Yeah, exactly. And now he's, yeah, he wanted to oh pull this right there, but he's going to eat this demon. Are She's you still kidding alive, me? Though. It looks like Tokido may be able to put away another... Oh! Oh, oh my god, what's happening? Okay. Wow. Interesting, interesting exchange there. <laughs> Tokido was on the verge of stealing yet another game from the clutches of Alu. No, I know. It's it's actually wild. Yeah, that's one of the things about Akuma, man, is they can get these string combos off when you're you're basically sitting there and you're like, I don't even get to play the game now. I have to wait for right. this guy to take out 60% of my health before exactly. I can start See? playing. And he went for the cross up three times in a row, but he messed it up. But he still has a pretty good life lead. But now Kami is very dangerous because she has the ultra, so Akuma's gotta be very careful with the with the fireballs that he throws. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, nice connections here. Hard knockdown. Oh, wow. That... <laughs> Brutal here. That I'm would put us 3-1 sure... with Takedo in the lead right now. I'm pretty sure that Alun is rethinking whether or not he should have used one of those lifelines. Because yeah, now, right? like, if you, didn't, if you don't use your lifelines when you have the opportunity, you may not make it and get yeah. another chance to use it later on. That's a very good point. If you don't uh, use it and you're in a situation like this, well, you're never going to get to, to use it. Nice uppercut again there. Um, yeah, because, I mean, now, looking at who, which players we have left, we have Ryan Hart, Infiltration, last year's world champion, and Luffy, also from France. Yeah. So, man, this is... But I guess, you know, Alien felt like he had the best chance against Tokido, but... You know, I would actually say that Infiltration has a weakness to Kami players because, you know, there there have been situations in the past like where uh, guys like K-Brad um, have beaten Infiltration, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, again with that in-air fireball uh, with a sweep kick, trying to see if he can get him 
And sometimes we've even seen Kimmy actually dive into the fireball just because of the weird angling that happens mm -hmm. there as well. Well, yeah, it, sometimes, you know, Kimmy players can tend to go on autopilot and they just kind of get in the zone where they just go by feel. And oh, hold that thought though, okay. He's, he's chipping him, he's getting him very low here. And this is one of the, the burdens when you have one character with a projectile, the other doesn't, is that they can just keep using these projectiles in the hopes that this kind of extra matter on the screen is you might just collide into it or even just have to block it and lose a little bit of HP. Kami's got to come up and figure out how to get in here. It's really all on her. Actually, only 18 seconds left on the clock here, so if you look at play defense. One opening could be it right here. Oh, whiff, wow. whiff, whiff! And that's crazy because look at that. This is uh, it's five seconds left when that actually ended. I think if he had managed to play a little bit more defensively and kept dropping fireballs, assuming he could have gotten out of that corner, that could have been a, a different outcome there. Mm -hmm. Well, Aliu not going down without a fight. You know, he's only down two games. Cami is one of those characters that if she gets the momentum, she can easily turn the tide. You know, you know what's crazy about the series um, is that we've had so many within this, uh, these little bouts, comebacks on both sides where somebody's down to like 5% health and manages to turn it around. Oh, good damage right there. Oh, really Alien nice. looks like he's on the verge of taking this one, but he, he hesitated a little bit and that could come back to bite him later on. You know, with the, when you're fighting a player like Tokido... If, oh my god, oh, yes, you got that grab? So ballsy. Yeah. You gotta be able to do that though sometimes. Good and good stuff, getting good on top stuff. of him with the cross you, up. Yeah. I mean that with a short kick. Yeah, recover a little bit. I mean, I, there were so many rounds that that Tokido stole from, from Alion that were so close. I think Alion's made a few adjustments. And, and now the score's 3-2. to two. Yep, we're going into game number five here, oh, and that's hurt. a big punish right there. I, there's I, the hard I wonder if that down. was maybe just too risky to do early on like this, if you can't cancel out of it. Right, exactly. Oh, and now dizzied. Yeah, and he's he, not even going to go for the focus into this. He's actually just going to go for that string combo. Yeah, and you'll he notice, got more damage. Wow, that was one-sided. Yeah, you'll, <laughs> you'll notice every time uh, Tokido gets an opportunity, he will go for the sweep so that he can get the hard knockdown, so that he can basically set up the Vortex. The Vortex is what makes Akuma such a strong character, yeah. uh, which is a sequence that Akuma can do where it's very oh. hard to see which way you're supposed to be blocking when you get knocked down like that. And Tokido basically invented it. That's wow. like his, that's his thing. That's something else, man. Kami trying to come back now. Akuma got a really good combo early on. Oh, but a no. whiff! Uh, uppercut. Second time that yeah. uppercut whiffed. And, and that's going to drop push. him down. Uh, Low enough to be alarmed, though. But he does have four super bars and an ultra that's nearly uh, maxed out. Right, exactly. So, this is what we've talked about before, where you know, even if you get a lot oh. of damage in, if you're out of meter and out of ultra and the other guy is fully stocked, you can still... Oh, oh my god, it. he gets it. He gets it and closes that out. Nice finish there by Tokido. So now so. scores four to two. Tokido's looking very strong here. This is going to be difficult for Alien to come back on, but hey, you know, it's Cammy. Anything can happen. I definitely got to say, though, it does seem like Takedo has a very nice plan here. Yeah. Nice it, with the overhead there. It all revolves around the hard knockdown, which you can yeah. only get from the sweep and the throw. Well, the forward throw. Okay, uh, another fireball coming in here. And that second overhead that hits there. Very risky there by Aliun to just throw out the uh, cannon drill. Because he doesn't have the meter to FADC to cancel out of it in case they block. He's just oh. going for it. Actually catching Kami in the air there with another nice combo here. Spin kick into the uppercut. No, into the slide, excuse me. And that's oh, going to be gonna another be punishment there. And that should, yep, that will close that one out. Tokido is just running through him now. Yeah, Tokido is on a roll, that's for sure. So now Aliun has really got a, I don't know, maybe, Mike, maybe we can ask Luffy what what Aliun should do differently. Yeah, what's going on over by the couch is Mike Ross. What's going on? Luffy, let me ask you, uh, you play with Aliun a lot. What do you think is going on in his head right now? Why is he not performing as well as he probably should be against Tokido? I think yeah, he, he lost money match because he missed his combo and he lost a mon monumentum and after he get a big punish. But if he he get more in his head, 
and without missing his link, he will be okay. I think he can beat Tokidocho. I was just about to ask if you're still confident that he can still pull through in this set. Yeah, he can. He can, of course. All right, well, back to you guys. I, I got to say, now we're seeing Kemi be more aggressive than we've even seen before here. Really serious rushdown. And Akuma very comfortably uh, and gracefully even backing away. Uh, but now Akuma's in the corner. Is he going to be able to get out of the corner? Now he does manage to get over here. And tables turn right now as Akuma uh, has got Kami up against the ropes. Oh, that was so sick when he dropped down there to push him back. That was... Yeah, I think... Alun has a very good hold on this matchup. It's possible that he may have studied it specifically, like in the same way that he studied uh, Cien's Gen. So Brutal. that he knew, you know, because when we talked to him yesterday, he mentioned specifically that he knew which side he was going to be on when Cien had him in the corner. And it took Cien a while to adjust, so maybe he studied Tokido's setups as well. That could be, but so far, the, the, the Tokido setups are just... <laughs> <laughs> They're working, yeah, I don't man. Know. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to matter. <laughs> We're at 2-5 uh, now, right now. Allium in a pretty tough spot right now, but still going all in here with his cam. He's still fighting hard. Takito's done such a fantastic job, especially in the early game here, of just using those fireballs to zone out his opponent, to force his opponent to try to figure out some way to get through the traps before he can even deal the damage. And that spin knuckle, he's getting a lot of mileage out of it because He's using it when he thinks that Tokido wants to do a focus attack because that's Kami's one armor breaker. And now we see a, n a nice attempt at a throw, a gutsy move there, but it was stopped. And that fireball landing right on the top of Kami's head. But Akuma again, still up against the wall, barely dashing away, missing that, uh, I mean, Kami missed that throw. Yeah. But yep, that connection will uh, yeah. take her out there, take him out there rather. You'll notice Aliun is playing a little bit more conservatively here, and he doesn't want to get too close to Akuma because he doesn't want to get into to, to a range where he can be swept easily, because he knows that if he gets swept, he's going to have to deal with the mix-up, and he won't be sure which side he's going to have to block. Nicely done here, pushing Kami back, and now getting now in see. on the other side with that uh, cross-up attempt. Right, exactly. Like It was smart for Tokido to go for the cross-up, because even if he would have blocked, even if, even if Aliun blocks, he still gets out of the corner and puts Kami into the corner. So it was smart to go for the uh, the, the cross up there, even though it didn't well, work. Well, it has out multiple for him. possible benefits mm -hmm. that can come yeah. out of it. So it's not, not just, like it's not, it's just not a damage. binary. It's not like it's going to be good or bad. It just it's the best possible decision because it, there's multiple different outcomes that are all mm -hmm. beneficial. Right, and you know Aliu knew that and was able to block successfully. So really top level play here on ESGN Fight Night. Oh yeah. All right, oh, mad dogging each other for a second there. No one's trying to make the move. And now uh, Kuma coming in here and hitting hard, and that's that rush down. He's so patient in the early game here with the fireballs, but then when it comes yeah. time, well, he, he just goes for the throat. That's right, and he mistimed his overhead right now. Kami really has the momentum. It's only going to take one more opening, but... He, oh, God, she's oh, so low! Al Alyun may have, may have played it just a little too carefully right there. Now you'll see that... Oh, uh -oh. wait, wait, wait. No! Oh, no! He thought that because he was going to hit the end of that EX uh, cannon drill that he was going to be able to juggle with the uppercut, but it missed. Yeah. I don't know if he mistimed it or if it was the wrong distance or whatever, but that was what he was going for right there. And already a strong start here with Akuma. Yeah, this, is one, of those, yeah, this is one of those situations where oh my God. when you lose a tough match like that, you just have to shake it off as a player and just be like, all right, well, let's just pretend like that didn't even happen. But <laughs> yeah. right now, I have, I have a feeling that Alun is still, see now, he's not thinking about it anymore. But that first half of that match where he lost 90% of his life, he was still thinking about how that uppercut didn't work out in that last yeah. round. Yeah, you gotta be able to shake it off and mm -hmm. keep going. Ooh. Oh, wow. Interesting yeah. <laughs> anti-air, interesting air to air. Oh, wow, oh, an air nice throw. air throw. Is he gonna teleport out? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, see, that's how you wanna do it. The guy's solo on, on HP. The wake up into a, fa a fireball. Yeah, I There's think... There's nothing you can do. It's now two and six here. Yeah, I think Alien thought that that Tokido would just block right there, and he was backdashing to, to add enough distance between them so that he could ultra through the fireball if Tokido threw out the fireball. Okay, so this means... Um that there is no more room for air here. Yeah, it's match point for here. For, yeah, it's match point here for Tokido. He is two rounds away from sending Aliun home. Nice back away there from Akuma. You know, it's funny because the Kami rushdown has been so good so far, but it's just whenever uh, you know um, Tokido gets these combos started, the mm -hmm. amount of damage that um, the other players left with is just insane. Like we're seeing right here. Yep, nice setup right there in the corner. You know, it's really tricky. You'll see oh, that wow. after, 
After he gets the hard knockdown in the corner, he'll time his jump in by sticking out a low jab so that he, um, so that it's hard for Aliun to know which way to block. Okay, uh, Akuma now closed it in here. Kami really needs to turn this around. Coming in here now with a nice uh, switch up there, going to oh, the other side. Nice Looks like he's going to try to... This, nope. this is going to be it. Yeah. She's on the verge of dizzy. Oh, no. She is so close to being dizzy so right now. There okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. It is. He's going to end this. And this is the, the beginning of the end. That's it. All right, so Tokido takes it. Very impressive. That Akuma was just too good. Yeah, you know, Aliun was feeling very confident in this match, I think, but it really just didn't work out for him. Tokido just is the master of mix-ups after yeah. he gets the hard knockdown. Well, Frodan, how's Aliun feeling? Thanks, Stasis and Gutex. That's right, I kind of want to know how you're feeling at the moment because it seemed like you were doing really well in your previous series against Cian, mm -hmm. but this time against Tokido, what happened, man? Um, a mix of him playing well and uh, me uh, dropping a lot of having a lot of execution errors. So, um, he came prepared. I, I thought I was prepared, but I missed a lot of stuff, so good games to him. What were some of the critical moments, do you feel like, throughout the series? Mainly since both our characters are vortex-based, so if you miss one opportunity, you may never recover in the set. And I think I've missed a lot and, and gave him a lot of opportunities to end the, the, the round quickly. Well, even though you lost the series, you still managed to show off your skills. Thank you so much for coming Thank out. You. you earned 150 still for that call-out bonus. Thank Is there you. any last words or shout-outs you'd like to give before we send you off? Uh, thank you for, for my team, uh, Barcelona Esports, and uh, the event has been really great. I've been uh, really treated well, and I hope to, to be able to participate in the future in another round. All right, hopefully see you next time. Thank you. What's up, guys? It's Gutex, and I'm here with the winner of tonight's ESGN Fight Night match. Tokido, congratulations. Thank you. Pretty convincing win against Ali Yoon. Yes. Seven to two. Yeah. Now, have you guys fought before? Yes, but it was a long time ago. Maybe it more than one year. Yeah. yeah, you know, watching this match, you know, I know that you've also had you've had difficulty against Kami players before, and Infiltration has also had difficulty against Kami players. Do you think that Kami is a bad matchup for Akuma? No, I don't think so. Because I practice recently, I practice a lot Kami player in Japan. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of good Kami player, yeah, same level as Alun. That's why I have a confidence. So you have a lot of matchup experience. Yes. Now, one of the things that I notice a lot about when you play, not just against Kami players, but, you know, the Vortex yes. is so good with Akuma. And, you know, I tried to explain a little bit, but obviously, like, I don't know it as well as you do because you basically invented it. Can you talk a little bit about how the Vortex works with Akuma? Uh, yes, uh, Akuma's Vortex is a... Uh it's very hard to watch in front or... Up. It's, hard to, it's hard to tell which way to block. Yes. But if you practice a lot, only just block, maybe you can block it. Mm -hmm. So tr try to... Uh, if you want to you wanna block Vortex, in the training mode, only block. Only block training. So you just practice over and over blocking. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's basically like if you get a sweep or a forward throw, yes. then you can either uh, Tatsu to cross up or dive kick or jump in roundhouse. Yes. Wow. It's my big damage. <laughs> big damage. And well, again and again. Right. And you can just do it over and over. Yes. Well, hey, Tokido, congratulations. Best of luck. We're going to send you over to Frodan and you're going to spin the wheel of destiny and see who comes up next. All right, Tokido, come on down here, as it's time to make an important decision. As with every winner, we always ask, as Sarah pulls up the money, are you going to walk away, or are you going to keep playing? I want to fight. All right, Tokido wants to fight. And so now I see that you're making some choices. What's going to be, because you have to fill the board. 
infiltration is I wanna fight last. Last. Yeah. Save so, the best for last. Yes. And uh, yeah, Ryan Hart, I wanna beat him because uh, last tournament he beat me. So you want some revenge, so yes. a little bit more Ryan Hart and we'll add a Luffy in there, save infiltration for later. Okay. Alright, so there you go. Good luck, Tokido. Have her for spin. All right. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be... There's so many Ryan Hart heads. <laughs> and only one infiltration head. Infiltration? Almost? Oh, it's gonna be Ryan Hart! Oh! It's time! Is it time? It's time! Tasteless, it's time it's for time. some it's Ryan happening. Hart! Well, that wraps up day four of Fight Night here. Join us tomorrow. We're going to have Ryan Hart against Takeda. It's going to be pretty sick. See you soon. Next time on Fight Night. Takeda never fails to impress. I, I say that the best man win, really. It's going to be.